But first tonight, more on the fatal shooting in Fairhaven. Former New Bedford Fire Chief Paul Coderre has died and a police officer was injured. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Sheena Loshuto. The officer involved shooting took place at a Fairhaven business last night around 430 or so. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill joining us live in Fairhaven tonight with the latest details and new reaction from those in the neighborhood. Well, Sheena, this all took place outside a popular local business, which appears to be closed this evening after last night's incident. Now, we spoke with those in the neighborhood who say they did not expect something like this to happen here in Fairhaven. This was the scene on Sconticut Neck Road in Fairhaven, a heavy police presence on the street that neighbors say is usually quiet. And I just heard a whole bunch of like gunshots. It was a lot. The road blocked off for hours Friday night. Two minutes later, I'd seen like a whole bunch like flashing lights and commotion going on. The incident happening here at this business. According to the Bristol County District Attorney, former New Bedford Chief Paul Coderre had been drinking at the bar for several hours. There was an altercation inside the lounge that led to uh, him going outside. Uh, he attempted to get in a vehicle and was stopped. Officials say when police got there, they discovered Coderre was carrying a gun and they attempted to de-escalate the situation. A Kushnet and Mattapoisett police arriving to assist Fairhaven officers. Several attempts were made to use non-deadly force to subdue him, including the use of a taser. Those attempts were not successful. The DA says Coderre then fired his handgun. Police returned fire, and as a result of that, Paul Coderre died. During the incident, an Akushnet police officer was shot in the leg. He was transported to the hospital, but has been released. Many people we spoke with in the neighborhood say they're still on edge. It was a little crazy, like you don't expect it to happen. And the district attorney's office says that this is an active and ongoing investigation and will continue to keep you updated. Live in Fairhaven, Lauren Brill, 12 News.